Hi, this is Rabbi Glassman from St Kilda Shul. I have a question for Bob Carr. What is it that prompted him to decide to publish all of these revealing parts of his new book in which has the media referring to him as a diva and has brought him under harsh criticism from all parts of politics, including member of his, members of his own Labour Party? Well, I have a possible explanation as to why that might be. Bob Carr, I want to tell you something about the festival of Passover. We as Jews put away the chametz, the leaven food that rises, and we replace it with matzah, which is the flatbread. One of the symbolisms behind this beautiful mitzvah or this commandment is that leaven bread, bread which rises, represents the notion of a rising personality, a egotistic and eccentric and self-absorbed type of person someone who views themselves as bigger and better than everyone else. Matzah, on the other hand, is a flatbread. It represents a sense of humility, a sense of humbleness, and a sense of um, self-effacement uh, in the light of what society tries to tell us and to try and put us into our place and recognize that we are one of six and a half billion people in this large world that we call home. Perhaps, Bob Carr, you have sided with the side of Chametz in trying to rise yourself up above all of your colleagues and former colleagues in the political spectrum. Not only have you disclosed, without uh, the permission of the former Prime Minister Julia Gillard, private text messages between the two of you in order to try and portray the pro-Israel lobby as some sort of um, uh, some sort of body that controls the government and that has extraordinary influence in the government, which is a, a, lot, a, a lot of nonsense in my humble opinion, you have also disclosed a lot about yourself. In your own words, Bob Carr, you have said, I can't feel humble. Interested, curious, yes, but I can't feel humble. Those are words from your own book, Bob. And I wonder whether or not that is indicative of the way you actually feel. Perhaps you should take a bite of matzah this coming Passover to humble yourself just a little bit and ensure that you don't try and rise yourself up by bad-mouthing everyone else. There are better ways to be able to advance your career in this world. I think that is a lesson for Bob Carr and perhaps a lesson that all of us can learn from this coming festival of Passover. With that, I wish you all a Chag Pesach Kasher V'Sameach.